What's happening everybody? Mike from Metacomics coming at you with a comic book review. Today we're going to be talking about Superior Spider-Man number 32. So let's talk a little bit about the story and then I'll tell you what I liked and what I didn't like about the issue. Alright, so this is the final issue more or less of Superior Spider-Man. This is an issue that takes place I guess a few months before Peter Parker came back and becomes Spider-Man and the Amazing Spider-Man again. And basically this is the setup for the Edge of Spider-Verse event that's going to feature all kinds of different spider people from all the different universes in the multiverse. Um, so the story here is basically Otto Octavius in Peter Parker's body, obviously, gets caught in this warp sort of thing that leads to all these different alternate realities where he discovers that all the spider people are being murdered off by some crazed lunatic who's like off the charts with power. So Otto decides that he needs to build an army out of all these spider men to try to track this guy down before he gets to Otto's time and place in the universe, multiverse, and wipes him out. That's basically what this issue is about. I don't want to give too much away, so that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, so let's talk about what I liked. I really, really enjoyed the dialogue from Doc Ock, as usual. Uh, he's got a very snarky um, arrogance about him that is entertaining to read, especially when you kind of picture it coming out of Peter Parker's mouth and you know how Pete has a reputation for being a, a jokester and, and someone that you don't take too seriously, and then you see him acting like this giant schmuck. It, it's kind of funny. The art was very good, and it really helped create a visual pace that complemented the story so you know you could tell that the way the story was written was written to be a fast-paced action kind of thing and the art really complements that well the concept for the the whole spider-verse thing seems a lot more interesting to me now after having read this issue than it did before which it just kind of seems like another event you know it just seems like there's events coming out the butt crack here lately um, and there was also this really, really awesome alternate Peter Parker who was trained by Wolverine. So that was really, really sweet, too. Um, now, to talk about some things that I didn't really care for. Basically, there was only one thing that I didn't really care for in this issue. And that was just that it was just kind of weird to have this Superior Spider-Man issue out of nowhere after having, like, three or four issues of The Amazing Spider-Man with Peter Parker back in his own body. It just seemed kind of strange and a little bit out of place, but that was my only gripe for this whole issue. Now, as far as themes go, it seemed to me that the big theme was using the resources you have at your disposal to solve a problem that's just too big for one individual. Uh, you know, Otto Octavius recognized that his crazed, loony, spider-people killer uh, was a threat to him and his world, as, you know, not just the other spider men and that he couldn't kill him alone, so he needed help. Rather than attempt to take him on alone, he decided, I'm going to build an army of Spider-Men and women to pool their unique talents, their skills, and their personalities together in an effort to take down this guy. In life, there are times when uh, you know, problems arise and there's simply more than we can get a handle on on our own. Rather than get frustrated and give up, we just need to take time to take stock of what resources we have available at our disposal. It is wise during these times to consult with others that have different insights or skills that can be beneficial in helping you come up with solutions to your problems and things like that. So I think Spider-Man slash Doc Ock does that very well in this issue. Overall, very awesome issue. I give it a 9 out of 10. I'm excited now to see where they go with Spider-Verse and what kind of cool concoctions they're going to come up with. One last thing that I just got to mention about this, Monkey Spider-Man. That's all I'm going to say. All right, guys. Peace.